my friends, my name is Eric, this is Metal 7 Gaming, and we are playing something. Uh, we're playing The Outer Worlds. We're going to continue on with our save. We're looking for this medicine here at the uh, Unlock First Aid Key, which we now have. That's why we didn't open it last time, because it was locked. There we go. That's how I missed it. Um, okay, kind of a little bit scared as to what type of work they're doing around here. But hey, we got some Ollie Ollie Toxic Free. And we've got the cache of medicine we are looking at for either Abernathy or for the HR lady who would like to give it to all the people who are actually injured or sick. All right. Who ate my lunch? <laughs> Fair enough. All right. We do need at some point to find ourselves some place where we can uh, work on our weapons. We need to find ourselves a workbench at some point. But for now... I think we're okay. Oh, I missed some parts. All right, let's head back out into the world. We've com more or less completed another quest. Let's go back and see if we can find this this book, which is in theory somewhere out here in a cave. I've got the shotgun equipped still. I don't think I like it that much right now, to be fair. Um, the Terror Ray Biological Overview. Okay. Let's go ahead and take a look at it real fast while we're thinking about it. Sawed-off shotgun. It's a long gun, but it uses light ammo, which is nice. It has knockback. Um, thought Hammersmith's tactical shotgun was hard to aim. Wait till you try this gun. However, when you hit someone, they'll feel it. I don't know. So far, the we haven't tried the shot cannon yet. We haven't tried the light assault or the grenade launcher. So far, the best has been, as far as I'm concerned, is the assault rifle. Um, but let's go ahead and give the shot cannon a little bit of try. We got we got a little bit of energy. Oh, that's kind of it's kind of a little bit silly. Um yeah. We've also got a plasma rifle. It's only 71 damage, 52 to 118. So it only does 71 DPS, but it hits hard with that initial shot. So you could fire that in. Let's load it up there. I don't know how often we'll use it. As an initial first shot, and then you switch to something else. Something like that. Charge up for a little while. Ah, okay. Well, we'll give it a try. There's the cave entrance. There we go. All right, well, so far that plasma thing is just insane. So, um, yes. Um, it doesn't seem to leave bodies. So, I guess there's that. If you don't want loot, use this. All right, so we'll switch to the electrical weapon for the moment. Because I do like getting loot walk around this, make sure we're not missing anything. It looks like it was kind of like a maglev train kind of thing. Transport wreckage. Yeah, that's what I was just saying. Does it have a... Can we open it? Is that what this is? No. All right, so there's a cave over here somewhere. There, right there. Now, in theory, these are where the book the book is that we're supposed to be looking for for the vicar. There we go, the illustrated manual. So we found the house they're supposed to be at, but we also found a thing on his computer saying he'd hit him in the cave. I don't know how or why we know where the cave is, but, you know. We're there, but we do have bad guys. We are on the electrical weapon. We can see the bad guys at the top there on our mini-map. I don't know what those are. Are they traps? Those are traps. 
All right, fair enough. Now we know. Nobody appears to be coming for us, though. Good thing we got some more energy, since we're about to use some of that, probably. All right. Um, the Journal of M. Bokunu. That's what we're looking for, Monshul. Okay. We probably could have shot those traps. Um, where's Miss Pavarotti? And is this the same door we came in? I don't believe it is. Oh my gosh. All right, that well we found her. I don't know where she was, but um but we did find her and we killed a lot of dudes that were um scary. <laughs> Ooh, all right. Um fair enough. Uh what's up top on the hill here? I think we should look. As long as we're exploring, I think we look. Something up here at the mouth of the... Oh, geothermal, right? Isn't that where... Yeah. Well, that makes sense. That makes... Except this... This is a mistake. <laughs> it's good. Oh, oh, this could hurt. This could hurt. Um, F. We have a couple of these. Um, I think we're going to need them to get down from here. Um, okay, so there is some risk in running around. Like that. How uh, did we kill that guy? Uh, no, probably this primal hunter did. Let's just kind of sneak past. I'm going to say we've had enough fighting of them. I think that's fair. And there's the other cave entrance. All right. So we have the book. Um, he wants us to get a logic module, geothermal plant. Um, we have to give that to somebody. We're still looking for that. Um, deliver reads message. I think that's what we're doing now. So let's check the map. And that is there. And we could fast travel now to the community center or to there or to there. We fast travel to our, or to our landing site. Ah, oh, so if we wanted to. I haven't done this yet, so we're doing it. Doing it live. Interstellar Championship, Rizzo's Rangers versus somebody. Um, let's come in here and um and work on our weapons. And then we can fast travel back to somewhere else. Use the workbench. To install a mod, first select the item you wish to upgrade, then choose what type of mod you wish to install. Scope, plating, exaggerate. Okay. So, we could, and we will, break down a bunch of these. And they just give us generic weapon parts, which is good. Um... Yeah, we got a light pistol equipped, I think. Um, I did really I didn't really like the sawed-off shotgun, so we'll go for that. 
Um, I like the assault rifle, but we may as well get rid of the one that's damaged. We do have the light assault rifle as well. Also a long gun. This thing has been just crazy. We've got two of them. Um, uh, shot cannon, I think we can do that. Here, can I... And not take a weapon out. There we go. Plasma rifle, I said, is nuts. But let's go ahead and put in um, one that's fixed. I mean, we could repair it, but why? We'll just break this one down. Um, and I really like the assault rifle. The question is, do we want to try the light assault rifle? It's 180 versus 215. Does stagger, 28 damage per shot, 18 damage per shot. More shots, though. Um, this one has a magazine installed. So there's a magazine and a sight. Oh, no, those are the modifications you can add to them, I guess. Hmm. Let's do that. And then if we come here, on this one, we can go modify here. We're going to install a mod. We actually do have... We have the mag to zap, and then we have this. So we can add our scope. Yes. All right, now we can come here, and we could add this. And now it does electrical damage and has a scope on it. Nice. Do we have any melee type stuff? Okay, uh, breakdown. I'm going to go ahead and break down this one. And I'll break down the other assault rifle and one grenade launcher. Um, yeah, we'll do that. I think that'll be fine. Oh, and we probably do armor too. Standard troop armor. Back of seven, that's pretty good. Let's um, break down armor. And then do we have any armors that we could modify? Install mod. Oh, we have a, oh, so we got a bunch of spots. Utility, skill kit, gadget, and armory. So this is the standard ballistic troop. I think this is the one I'm wearing. So we could do this. We got the thug kit and the hunter kit. Ranged weapon skills or melee weapon skills. So let's go for this. Yes. And then on this one, let's go for the thug kit. Right? And I think that's the one she's wearing. It's not. It will be now. And we check our armor. And we've got a ranged weapon. And we check Parvati. And she's got a thug kit. All right. And then we can repair... Uh, armor parts 32, we've got five. Okay, so let's go ahead and repair. Accept, repair, and accept. I think that's that. Awesome. And we can go back to our map, and then we can kick back over to the community center and continue north with our quest to talk to, um... Ms. Adelaide or whatever her name is at the Emerald Valley community uh, up here. We're at the community center. Oh, did we miss this? We need to get that. See if there's anything in the yard here. Got to get all the loot. All right. Did we kill him? We did. We got his stuff. All right. Off to the botanical lab, which probably be a little bit more. Careful. Door, but it's locked. Oh, 
don't see any bad guys out here. Kind of hope we'd find something in there that we could unlock that door. But it might be another quest we don't have yet. Could be a lot of stuff. Um, where are we going? Yeah, this will work. We can follow this road up to the left. I'm going to be a little bit careful with thugs, marauders, whatever they happen to be called. Like those guys right there. Wait, where do I have my... Uh, Assault rifle? There we go. Man, we killed a lot of guys that time. We crushed them. Uh, I did not expect that many people to come running out of that camp. I'll be honest. <laughs> Figured there were about three of them. Whoops. And we'd be okay. Instead, there were, I don't know how many, plus a couple of the canids. Oh, uh, that was something new. That was quick. All right, let's check. We got something interesting in there. Consumables, yeah, yeah. We've already been looking at them. Oh, we have five of them ultimately unlocked. So we've got Adreno's Choice and our just our emergency medical inhaler. Okay. Hmm. I don't know what it was I found. Oh, it was this. So it was just earrings. Okay, just junk to sell. Fair enough. Oops. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Excuse me. All right, so we can walk up this road now. We've cleaned an another little section of uh, the Emerald Vale is safe because of us. And there's the botanical lab. Move along, stranger. We don't want any trouble. Who said that? Oh, she said that. Grace Romero. I don't know you. I don't know Whatever you. You're looking for it ain't here. Move along. Um, looking for Adelaide. Need some answers. Answers, huh? You must be one of those philosophicals. Already got ourselves one of those. <laughs> uh, Reed said something about former workers living out in the wilderness. Yeah, that's us. And you can tell Thompson we're doing just fine by ourselves. If you're going to start wandering around my camp, know that I got my sights on you. Fair enough. Uh, where can I find Adelaide? Over in the hothouse, tending crops. Enough with the questions. No offense, but I've got a lot on my mind. Uh, trouble with marauders? You don't know what enough with the questions means? Nope, not even a little bit. No, I'm sorry. That was unworthy of me. Lady named Zoe went missing some nights ago. Just up and vanished without a trace. Now I'm pacing around wondering if marauders got to her. 
Uh, I'll keep an eye out. It's not like Zoe to go wandering. Figured she might be out scavenging, but that ain't exactly her talent. I can't imagine where she's gone. Vale's a wide place. She could be anywhere. <laughs> Less Marauders got her. Them parts are gonna be in a lot of places. Could do without the gallows humor. Ah, tough. All right, leave you be. We'll check her house. See if there's any. Oh, there's that. Um, I guess we could check real fast and just see where that house is. There. We'll do that first. Um, we've got enough random crap. I don't think we'll loot every house here. Stefan Garcia. Do they all have names here? A uh, deserter. So no, Stefan might actually have stuff to say. Uh, no more Edgewater for me. No more cannery. No more jumpsuits and gloves. Yes, ma'ams. Would you like another? I don't know why I'm writing this down for posterity's sake. Because I always hated the cannery. I don't think I'll ever have to look back on this journal many years hence and tell myself, oh, wow, I did hate the veil once, didn't I? Just because I got sick. Everybody gets sick. Well, okay, I got sick and grabbed a little too much adrenaline time. But is that a really a crime? I got to treat myself when I'm sick, don't I? Whatever happened to personal responsibility and surviving by one's own bootstraps? Oh, but you misappropriate one box of adrenaline time and suddenly you're committing larceny. All right, so she commits larceny. Terror on Monarch with Ruth Bellamy is Helicon Helen. Spencer Woolrich is the chief of the savages fighting real monsters from the doomed world. Well... Oh, here's another letter. Uh, well, today's the day, Zo. Today's the day you make your destiny in your own hands. I've been listening to Grace talk about the Marauder Threat bands of wild, free-spirited bandits living in the camps out on the hills, warming themselves by the light of barrel fires. Probably mounted the heads of their enemies on spikes as a warning to folk like me, living in comfort and ease, free of any rules. I bet they could take the whole region if they were organized. I've been tucking away some Adelaide's foods, and I got some spare cans of Saltuna. Should last me a couple weeks if I ration. Got some Adrena time, too. Everybody loves Adrena time. Even Marauders, right? I got odds those Marauders will let me throw in with them if I dangle a couple syringes of Adrena time before their eyes. It's gonna be great. Look out, Terra 2. Bandit Queen Zoe's origin story has just begun. I'm gonna have a whole game of Marauders at my beck and call. Maybe I can even score some Rizzos. Oh, there you go. Kind of answers that, don't it? Um. Zerder. Somebody up here we could talk to. Pacer's choice. You hungry? We got canid ribs, canid flank, canid snout too. Oh wow! All Something the canid. I can help you with? I'm told one of your numbers gone missing. You mean Zoe? Yeah, we were pretty close. I like her to go loping off. Uh, what happened on the day she disappeared? Zoe and I were gonna watch the cereals, as is our custom. She never turned up. I looked around, but she was nowhere to be found. You sound like some type of corporate fixer asking all these questions. She acted strange before she disappeared? Can't say I recall Zoe ever acting strange. Well, except for her habit of writing things down on scraps of paper. She called it journaling, but I think it's just plain odd. All right. I think we got everything we need as far as Zoe goes. Um, so next is to go ahead and talk to um, Adelaide. Hello, chicken. Um, right here. In the hot house. If you're hungry, there's meat turning on the spit outside. If you're bearing illness, find a place to lay your head down and I'll fetch you a poultice. Whatever your troubles with Edgewater, leave them at the gates and be welcomed here. Any questions, dear? Uh, you must be Adelaide. I have been called that, among other things. Green thumb, grandmother, the strange old lady who keeps flowers. But yes, Adelaide will do just fine. Excuse me, Miss McDevitt? Sorry, it's just, you got such pretty trees in here. 
why, thank you. You're Robert's girl, aren't you? I remember when you were but a sprout. Thomas speaks of you often. Are you staying long? You should try some of my tobacco-horn tea. I brew it in an old spittoon, <coughs> but it's been cleaned. Sounds horrible. Uh, Reed sent me to make peace with you. Reed Thompson? You here on behalf of that cold-eyed reptile? Let's hear it. What's Reed's idea of peace, then? Uh, he's willing to make amends. Make amends? Spare me. Only thing Reed knows how to make is a mess. Like everything else that comes out of Edgewater, that peace offering is spare. I and my own are living just fine out here by ourselves. Uh, Reed asked me to divert power to him. He mentioned a geothermal plant. He would do such a thing. The question is, why would you agree to his plans? Your camp has a power regulator. I need to repair my ship. Cannery's got a regulator. If you want ship parts, you ought to rip them out of the cannery's guts and leave us be. If you're going down to the plant, you should divert power away from Edgewater and toward our end of the grid. But think about it. You'd be liberating an entire town from a Shh. lifetime of service to that odious cannery. Seems the sort of thing a hero would do. You'd be taking away everybody's jobs. <laughs> and do support ships continue to bring supplies and stuff if there's no cannery? I'm not sure she's thinking this up too much. Um, what have you got against the town? You've seen that miserable excuse for a town with your own lamp. Hollowed out workers laboring their lives away at the cannery, living off whatever scrap spacer's choice throws them. You know that's true, don't you, Ms. Holcomb? Your father died of overwork. His heart gave out. He, he was tired all the time, sure, but he was old, ma'am, and he raised me all by his lonesome. Look what they did to this child. Lost her family to the company, and still she defends them. Um, yeah, I don't really like, much like her throwing that in my face to get her. I'm all right. I ain't so fragile. That was unkind of me. I'm sorry, dear. So far, I'm not seeing that either of these people's all that nice. Uh, what do you have against people trying to make a living? It's not much of a living. Every single person in that town has sold themselves to Spacer's Choice. The company owns them. Body, blood, and... In theory, they own her, too, You've but... You've been there. You've seen it. All anyone ever does is toil over a cannery. They give their lives for some heartless corporation, and then they're tossed into a Spacer's Choice brand cemetery. Uh, let's say I help you. What happens to Edgewater? I'm not planning on it right now. Life in so. Edgewater grinds to a halt. The cannery shuts down. Workers desert in droves. And our own little camp grows and thrives. Um, I'll consider it, but at the moment, you will listen to your conscience. I'm thinking I shut them down. I don't... TNL makes the best gear for friends and families, companion perks, companies leveled up and granted new perk. All right. Let's go to dead and take a look. That answers that question. Oh, did we go up to level two? Check Parvati first, uh, and she's got her perks here. More base health, more threat generated. Um, I'm going to... Uh, plus more engineering. She is our engineer. We haven't really had too much trouble with killing stuff. I mean, she hasn't really generated any threat, to be honest. <laughs> but let's go for engineering first. That would let us get... So she's got fine aim. We don't care about that. Armor rating, melee damage, chance to extract mods in the field. That's not too bad. I still think we probably do this and then, um, and then threat but we'll see. Uh, and then for us, um, I don't know. We seem to be going towards that. If we go up to 40 handgun critical damage, long gun critical damage goes up. I have a really good crit chance right now. 
which may be a reason to stick with the handgun. I mean, it's almost 20, well, 13, 12% higher. But we're killing stuff so fast with that assault rifle. We not cower duration up to seven seconds. Uh, improve your weapons and armor on the workbench. Okay, let's do that. Let's just take that up there. Give us the option for that, since we didn't have that unlocked before. Um, we haven't really spent a lot of points on lock picking lately. Let's go ahead and knock that up to 30. That leaves us three more points. We'll dump those into dialogue. There we go. And the next turn we can knock Persuade all the way up to 40 and get our cower, that cower duration up as well. I think that'll work. We don't get a perk this level, and we've got that. Um, like I say, I think I, I think probably long-term survival probably has more to do, is this the geothermal plant? No, we're not, we're not trying to steal anything. Probably, legitimately, actually does have more to do with them going back than anything else. Um, it'd be nice if it would just tell you where these things were. I guess if you leave it all open, then you can... I, I don't need to read any. I just want to clear it. All right, so our options at this point. We've done that. We can go there, and we can run it either direction. We also need to – either way, we need to get a power regulator. That's also at the geothermal plant to get the logic module if we decide we want to do that. And we need to find Zoe. Medicine's done. That's done. We still haven't figured out what we're going to do with the grave site. Did I already pause this? I must have. So what we're going to do is, um, yeah, we've been going 32 minutes. So we're going to stop this one right now. We'll figure out what we're going to do next. Either way, we need to head to the ge geothermal plant. That's our next bit. Um, and that's back over here, it looks like. So we'll head over to the geothermal plant next episode, and we'll make our decision then, I guess. Um, anyway, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Thumbs up, thumbs down. Don't forget to subscribe. We'll see you next time. Cheers.